Welcome back. Thank you for that report on the proper techniques for right bisection of bathies with a table saw. We weren't expecting it to be quite so literal. I am never doing another community interest story again. Well, at least you escaped in one piece. I should never have asked David Johnston to defend his credentials. <laughs> yes, it was very exciting. And you know what was exciting? Politics. Yes, politics. Coming up, we'll show you how to throw your very own political party with fun economic policy games, right-wing extremism, and cake. Lots and lots of cake. Speaking of cake, it's past my feeding time. <laughs> How is it that the two of you got to be co-anchors? Wow, suave, sophisticated, and clearly more talented one. I'm just a field reporter. I slept with the boss. Now I can't look myself in the mirror. I know how to get ahead. <laughs> one day, one day I shall have my rightful place as anchor, and you shall curse my sudden <laughs> betrayal. Careful. Gave away the master plan. <laughs> Maybe they didn't notice. Before we get to parties and cakes, Richie continued his quest for Fred's presidency today with a campaign stop in front of the Dana Porter Sugar Cube. I like sugar. Let's hear what he had to say. I support the arts. Some of my best friends are artsies, even if they do go to Laurier or work at Walmart or collect empty beer bottles all day. My policies will help artsies find jobs cleaning my pool, fetching Timmy's, and working as toilet paper usage and regulation directors. Richie is clearly attempting to woo the artsy vote when he should obviously be courting the head in a jar demographic. <laughs> he then held a press conference and commented, How could I fail women's studies? Studying women is all I do. <laughs> His handlers really have their hands full. Still, if nobody runs against Richie, it mo won't be much of a race. Sometimes I wish I still had a body. Does that mean you're only interested in me for my body? What? No! Uh, you also have nice, uh, oh, hey, there are also rumors that a lunatic grad student is running around trying to find a challenger. But unless they have the resources to match Richie's parents, they'll just be some underdog, not even in the running. And I'm sure you know all about running. Say that to my face and I'll bite your hand off. Could you help me get a leg up in this business? In other news, there's been a sudden and disturbing increase in unwanted automated telephone calls. Woman, woman, you're at a dinner party having fun, and then suddenly... What? I'm ahead. In a jar. How do you expect me to get that? It's the spa saying someone ordered you a pedicure. <laughs> oh, pedicure. <laughs> Okay, I've seen him in this state before and it's not pretty. Coming up next, let's check in on the weather with Ned. Winter <laughs> is coming. 